time for your workout. We got a total body extravaganza for you this morning. We've already done a upper body workout. We've done a cardio workout. Now we're gonna combine it all with a lower body workout as well. Total body, these are my favorite kind of workouts. It gets everything. So what we're gonna do for this one is we're gonna start with a warm up, then we're gonna stretch, and then we're going to a routine that has two lower body cardio moves and then one push up style upper body move. So you've got 18 moves, we'll do them twice. That'll be a total of 18 minutes of a hard workout. So if we're ready, everybody ready? We've got my family here today, and we're ready to start with our warm up. So let's start with some marchers. Some of you may be a little sore from your prior workout. I know we are. They're so sore they're silent. We're gonna be going to a jog here pretty soon. So let's take it to a jog now. Get those knees up as you're going. Starting to get that heart rate up, get your body warm so that we can stretch out. You can loosen up your wrists as you're jogging. Get the whole body ready. All right, let's switch to some jacks. Repeat each move for about 30 seconds. So we got about 10 more seconds of jumping jacks, and then we're gonna move to some ropers, otherwise known as jump roping. Okay, let's transition now. Double foot jump ropes. If you wanna do them like this, you can. If you wanna spin out your foot, feel free. Or you can do this. You can do side to side, you can do front and back. I don't care. Let's get your body moving. About 10 seconds, we're gonna transition to ski downs. Breathe through the process. Five more seconds here. All right, let's ski it down. Just warming up the body. Breathe through it all. 15 more seconds here. Few more seconds. This and we'll switch. Four, three, two, one. Jump it out and hold. Hold that balance. Side to side. We're going to be transitioning shortly to some high knees. Try to keep those knees up. Don't let them stay down. Bring them up at least waist high if you can. We'll be transitioning here in about one second. All right, here we go. Knees are up now. We're here for 30 seconds. Keep those knees up. You got 20 more seconds. Ten more seconds, high knees, and then we'll transition to kicking up your heels. In three, two, one, bring those knees up, or heels up rather. Move those arms, try not to be here. Get some nice action going. Kicking it up. Ten more seconds in this place. And then we'll go to everybody's favorite, mummy kicks. And here we go. Arms out, kick the feet out. Don't let them come down here like this. Keep them up. We got another 20 seconds left. Some people don't like this move, I don't know why. Those arms up, chin high. Got eight more seconds. Then we'll go to switch kicks and then into our stretches. 
And here we go. So kick. Hop to one foot. Ball kick with the other. You don't have to kick real high. We haven't stretched yet. It's just about being active. Bring your elbows down. It's Bring a little crunch each time. Down. Good for your abs. Ten more seconds. And we'll Ten be ready for our stretching. And done. All right, we're ready to start the stretch now. Unlike the last workouts, we're going to target the whole thing today. So we got to stretch most of your body. Right now we're doing some simple kickers to bring your heart rate down. Remember your heart rate is important. Teenagers, you should be in that 150, 155 to 170, 175 range. If you're a little higher than that, that's okay. If you're lower, bring it up a little bit by your intensity. If you're my age, I roll around at 48 years old, so I should be between 140 and 150. 150 to 160 with my high end, that's where I like to be in. So that's where I'll be. All right, well, let's do a little bit bigger helicopter stretch now. Really turn your legs as you're doing this. Put that pressure in your, in your back, not into your knees. And don't put tension by doing them this way. I'm going to kind of turn with them a little bit. Now we're going to throw some floppy punches. Just throw some punches. Loosening up those shoulders. You're not going to get a heavy shoulder workout, but you are going to have, they do support you when you're doing push-ups. And we're going to do a bunch of push-ups today. How many of you doing your push-up challenge? Minimum of 100 extra push-ups per day. Don't forget. It'll make you stronger. Some of you should be at about 250, we hope by now. Okay, back to the helicopter. We're doing the ballistic stretching is what this is, ballistic. Okay, reach, uh, reach tall. Stretching out that side. Twist a little bit when you do it now. Twist a little bit. Reach tall. We're gonna do some wall scrapers here in a minute to open up that chest, also known as chest expanders. Okay, here we go, plug fingers in, reach tall, hands to the back of the wall, now scrape the wall. Plug them in again, back to the wall, scrape that wall. One more time, plug them in, get the wall, scrape that wall. All right, here we go. Gonna be doing a little helicopter again. We're gonna be getting ready to drop down to our lower body. So as you do this now, we're going to stop, we're going to stretch, sit back, straighten your leg, put your pressure right here on the top thigh and just kind of push back. We're going to be here about three seconds, two, one, move your hands down above your knee, not on the joint, but just above on the muscle, push a little bit and sit back. This pressure should be on your hamstrings. Inhale, exhale, go down to your shins. Sit back, reaching for the ground. Three, two, one. Inhale, exhale to your toes. Walk your feet in just a little bit. Grab the ends of your toes and lift. Straighten your legs. Breathe. Pressure and tension are right there in your hamstrings. Inhale, exhale to the right. Inhale, exhale to the left. Inhale, exhale to the right. Breathe. Inhale, exhale to the left. One more time. Inhale, exhale to the right. Inhale, exhale to the left. Inhale, come to middle. Drop down into a nice squat. Settle in with your hands on the ground. Come on up, forearms inside your thighs, and push out while you sit down. Try to get to 90 degrees. And now breathe as you're pushing, opening up those hip flexors. You can rock a little bit back and forth if you'd like, lightly. Breathing. Hands are going to go straight now. We're going to drop back into a plank. Make sure your shoulders are over your hands in plank. This is a push-up position. I'm not bowed. I'm not arched. 
I'm flat. Bring one foot in to a lunge. This is a runner stretch. Really push those heels down. Keep pushing it. You want to make sure you have a nice straight line. So you got a little launching pad right here. She's going to push this down. She's going to try to push her heel down a little more to really get that, that calf muscle nice and stretched. All right, back into this lunge. Let's bring on up to here. Tall with your lunge. Put your forearm here and just twist a little bit. Breathe while you're doing it. Stretching out that back. While you keep stretching your hip flexors. Come here for three, two, and one. Drop back down, hands down into a plank. Sit back onto your calf muscles. Just kind of push those heels down. Let's alternate toes back and forth. If you're on a slick surface, kind of like we are, you might find this difficult. Just keep working it and you'll get the stretch. Okay, bring your other leg up into this lunge. You want to make sure that your knee is directly over your heel. Don't let your knee track out over your toes. Don't let your knee be back here. Right here above that heel area. Should be down stretching the hip flexor, trying to push that heel to the ground, straightening out this back leg. Putting that pressure in your legs. Be here for five more seconds. Come on up to a tall lunge. Keep that heel down. Kind of twist. Working on that back. Oh, I got a little crack that time. Cheap chiropractic. Hold it for three, two, and one. Back to here to a plank. Notice the plank position. Now we're going to walk our feet in, keeping them legs straight, walk them in together. Some of you have super flexible legs, mine are not. So I'm happy where I'm at here. The best, grab my toes and I'm pulling for three, two, one. Now we're going to come up, count to five, four, three, two, and one. Let's get some quads now. Don't let them out here, keep them here. Keep those shoulders back, hips out, lifting on that leg. You want to lift on this leg right here. So your tension is right in the front. Don't let it do that, keep it here. We're here for three, two, one. Let's switch legs. If you need to balance here, you can find a friend, a parent, a grandparent a wall, a chair, your favorite stuffed animal if it's big enough. Hips forward, knee by knee. Going to be here for about another five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let it down. Reach up. Nice and tall, wide stretch. Oh, out. And we're going to get ready for a water break. You've got about 30 seconds, and then we'll come back and get right into our workout from your uh, cool down time, except it's not a cool down. Remember, don't sit. If you sit too much, your body gets a little bit stiff. Hope you've got water with you because we're ready to start. This workout will be 30 seconds per move, so make sure you're transitioning quickly between the moves. Don't go and rest so much between moves that you end up losing half of it. This 30 seconds goes quick. Two lower body cardio and one upper body push-up style move. You might need a chair, something you can do a dip on. We'll be doing dips one time each rotation through. All right, if we are ready, we will start here in just a moment. We're going to be starting with skaters. Remember, the trick is to get deep into your move, not to stay short, but get deep into your move. All right, we're going to start in three, two, one. 30 seconds of skaters. Swing in the arms. Back and forth, staying low. Jumping off your low part of your lunge. Don't stand up and jump, jump from low. You got about 15 seconds more. Then we'll be transitioning into a lateral leap frog squat, frog squat here in about seven seconds. Just stay with it. Make sure you're breathing. All right, here we go. Lateral leap frog squats. Touch the ground. Boom, boom. Side, side, down. Wide legs as you're doing it. 
Don't stand up and do this. That's not the move, it's wide. It's working out the inner parts of your thighs because you're moving, having to use your toes here. We'll be transitioning to push-ups in just about five seconds. 30 seconds of a standard push-up right now. How about it? Standard push-ups. This is as many as you can get in in the 30 seconds. You have 20 seconds more. Notice once again, a nice position in the modified. You're not going up tall. Here, doing as many as you can. Nice and tight through the hips. We'll modify there. And then we have the full push ups. We get five more seconds. Then we're going to go to log jumps. See if I can get two in, three in. We're up. Here we go. Log jumps. Now remember, this is only 30 seconds. So last time we did a cardio move, we built up because they were one minute a piece. We don't have that luxury on this one. So you got to get your intensity up a little quicker. We're going to go to skiers and pullers here. Here we go now. Be on your toes the whole time. You can punch if you want. You can reach if you want. Whatever works for you. You can also keep your hands down like you have ski poles. This moves pretty quick. 10 seconds till our next push up thing, which is corn cob push ups. Corn cob push ups will drop side to side, center and up. Here we go. Wide position, drop. Left, right, center, up. Down, left, right, center, up. Corn cob push ups. Notice the full range of motion through her. She's going down. She's tight through her back. This is where you're getting it on corn cobs. Those back muscles are tightening up. Down, center, oops, get up wide. Five more seconds. Now everybody down in your fight position. Burpees, bring them up. You can add a push up if you'd like. Come to center and up. Or you can just back and forth and up. Whatever works for you. We're gonna be following this up with some Mary Catherine's. Everybody's favorite. It's a great lunge workout. Five seconds. So here we go with Mary Catherine's. Get your lunge. You can skip through like I'm doing. If this gets to be too much, you can step through. Otherwise, you should be going full out. Hey, and after we get done with this sequence of 18 moves, we'll take a break and we'll do it again. It's awesomeness. <sighs> Stay with it. We're gonna have dips here in about five seconds. Grab your chairs and do your dips. Many as you can get in. Many dips as you can get in. You can switch those legs, get them up, those legs up. You got that full range of motion. Just like last time, going down to 90. Got the legs up, getting as many as they can get in. We've got about five seconds left. And we'll be going to Everest climbers. Everybody hit your plank position. Foot comes up, foot comes up. Stay nice and tight through your abs as you're doing this, and then you can pick up your space. Or you can pause, pause, and if you want to, Put a little popper push up in it. Whatever you'd like to do, either one works. We're gonna have a five seconds, we're gonna have us a jockey rider. Notice how she's getting up to that. Foot's coming close to her hands. Here we go, everybody, to wide position. Step, step. Arms are in. Okay, here we go now. Hop, stay nice and low, hold the reins. Nice and low, stay on your toes. Ride the horse. Here we go, wide push-ups now, 30 seconds. Wide push-ups. Remember, by getting those hands wide, you're gonna be engaging your back. Everybody's arms should be wide. 
That's gonna make that back stay nice and tight. Here we are to modify. She's still getting everything through here. That scapula's coming together in the back. Whew. Yeah, we got a few of these. Four power jumps. All right, we're up. Here we go, power jumps. Touch the ground, jump to the sky. Get nice and low. If you need to modify this, up on your toes. All the way down, up on your toes. Otherwise, get that jump. We're gonna be transitioning to our jump shot pretty soon here. We're getting close to the end of round one. Okay, here we go. Reach, step, shoot. Catch the ball, turn, square up, shoot. We're gonna switch hands here, or switch directions in about five seconds. Okay, other side. Step, boom. Catch from the left, shoot. You can use your left hand if you want, or you can just shoot. Keep that shot on, we got a couple seconds left. We've got some prison cell push-ups. We're down, one, knee in, knee in. And up, clap, back down, knee in, knee in, bring it up, clap, you got 15 seconds. And here, you got nine seconds to go. As they're getting ready, as they're finishing up, we're gonna have our 80 20 speed squats next. Here we go, everybody's up, all the weights on one foot, and here we go. Keep that weight on the one leg. We're gonna go airborne here, right now. Other side, here we go. Pushing away from the floor. We're gonna go airborne here in just a few seconds. Right about now, airborne. That weight is on that one leg. We got a hat foot coming. Pick a foot, make a plus sign with your foot. Front, back, side to side. Front, back, side. front, back. Switch feet. Back, side, 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 front, back, side, side, back, side. side. Only got four seconds left. Keep that pressure on. And I have a staggered push ups. One foot on top of the other, staggered like this. Three, four, then switch. Remember as you're doing this move, stay tight through your core. Don't let your back sway this way or bow this way. Nice and tight, control through your core. You got five seconds left. Keep at it, keep at it. Less than five seconds and guess what? You've got a water break. We are halfway done with this workout. We'll be back in about 30 seconds with the second part. We're gonna repeat this whole thing again. See you then. All right, welcome back. We are ready to do part two of this. Make sure you push yourself. You've been through it once now. You know what to expect a little bit. Try to transition smoothly between each move so that you don't lose a lot of time. All right, remember to breathe and make sure, make sure, especially my Brazilian friends out there, make sure you're staying with it. You wanna have that nice look of toned, well, maybe. We'll see if we can even get outside, right? I know you Brazilians love your beaches. So here we go. Fernando, Augusto, Alves, you guys, Donati. Oh, he wasn't in this workout, but he should be. So here we go, workout time. We're starting now, we have nine minutes left. You can get through anything in nine minutes, starting with skaters, ready. And my timer's got seven seconds left. We don't want to do extra, do we? Yeah, let's do yeah. extra. Here we go in four, three, two, one. Jump and slide. Bring that intensity up a little bit more this time. We're gonna be at lateral leapfrog squats after this. Jumping and squatting. Push off that squat. Don't stand up and jump. Jump from low. You've got a total of 10 seconds left before we transition to lateral leapfrog squats. Here we go now, go to a wide position. Step, step, touch. <coughs> Play basketball, it's a great basketball drill. 
wide, beat the person to the spot. You have 20 seconds left. After this move, we'll be going on to our standard push-up. Make sure you don't have a wide push-up on this one, but your hands are about shoulder width apart. We're going to that in about five seconds. Four, two, touch the ground, standard push-ups. Here we are, and we go. Don't let those hands get wide. Keep them in a little bit. You want to have a different kind of push-up. We'll have a wide push-up later. Right now, we're going to be at this one. Standard push-ups. You've got five seconds left. All right, we're up on our feet here. And here we go. Log jumps. I know you're feeling tired. Push through it. Grab some water, get right back in. Whatever you need to do, have your water next to you. <clears throat> In about eight seconds, we'll transition to skiers. Not ski downs, but skiers. Be on your toes when you do these. Make sure your arms are swinging, either as punches, as pulling, as scissors, or as reachers. But don't let them just do this. Swing. Swing. We got 15 seconds to corn cob push ups. Stay with it now. Five seconds. Corn cob push ups wide, down, left, right, center, up. Let's go. Remember as you're doing these, what's getting the workout here? It's the top of your back. When you go down, make sure those scapula pull together so you're engaging those muscles. Down, right, and up. And in about three seconds, we're gonna do some burpees. All right, in your plank position, bring it up, jump. You can add a push up if you'd like. You want to make this faster, you can make it faster. Mix it up however you like it. Ten seconds left to Mary Catherine's. And here we go. Drop it back into a lunge. Step it through. Notice there's no weights in this workout. If you really want to add weights, you can. You can hold on to weights while you're doing these moves. 15 seconds. I'm gonna go to full Catherine's now. And then we're gonna be going to dips, so be ready in 10 seconds to grab your chair. Dip time. Grab your chair. If you have time, you can also put your feet up under the chair. When we're done with these dips, we're going to be doing our Everest climbers. We have 15 seconds. See all the different ways you can do this. You can do them slow. 10 more seconds. Keep it going. Do them fast. Full range of motion. Mid step break. Lots of ways to do it. And here we go. Everybody is up now. We're back down in the plank for your Everest climbers. You got to breathe. Make sure those feet jump up to your hands. Get those up to here. Once you really stretch with those feet, notice the modified climb on here. She's stepping through each one, but she's still getting that stretch, which is really important on this. You gotta make sure you get that range of motion. All right, we're on our feet for jockey riders. Here we go. Squat low, side to side. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Staying low and staying on your toes. Don't go on your heels on this one. The last, we'll pick it up the pace a little bit here now. The last 10 seconds, we're gonna roll with our feet, quick pats. Here we go now. Stay low as you're doing this now. Riding that horse, the horse is in a trot. Not the most comfortable, wide push-up time. Arms are wide, here we go. Remember the wide push-up. Your scapulas come together in the back. 
when you get that work right across the back, right through here, is what you're getting on these wide push-ups, as well as your chest muscles. We're gonna be going in about seven seconds to power jumps. So we're up, squat, press the ground, jump. Remember, modified, you go up on your toes. Up on your toes, you still reach. Now I'm modified, you jump. Now if you can go faster, then you wanna go faster. You get more jumps in. We're gonna have a jump shot coming in 10 seconds. We're getting close to being done. Here we go now, reach to the right, step, jump. Turn your head around backwards. Whatever it takes to get you through. We'll switch sides here in just about five seconds. Good form. Last second. Beat the buzzer. Go the other way. Reach to the other side. We'll be going to prison cell push ups next. Remember, one push up, knee in, another push up, knee in, another push up, jump. And we're down. Push up, knee, push up, knee, push up, burpee, jump. Keep it that. You can do it. Keep that. Not a good way to modify, except you don't have to jump to modify. Whew. Push up, knee, push up, knee, push up, up. Oh, yeah. we're gonna be at 8, 8 20 piece speed squats. All the way down one side. Here we go. Two, three. I'm so tired I can't even talk straight. Keep all the weight here. Now we're gonna jump for five seconds. Other side. All the weight on the other one now. We're gonna be taking off here in just a second or two. And here we go. Leave the ground. Leave the ground. Three seconds to hot foot. Make a plus sign. Here we go. Front, side, back, back, front, side, side. Whew, don't even know what I'm saying. Back, side, to side. We're almost done. You realize we have one move left after this before your bonus. Oh, the bonus is gonna be glorious. Oh, we're supposed to switch feet. My fault. We'll add it in. It's gonna be a little extra, a little bonus. Your calf muscles here, that's what you're working out. Back, front, side to side, or front, back, side to side. Doesn't really matter, five more seconds. Okay, you got your staggered hand push-ups. Staggered hands, cross the feet, do four, then switch and do four. You should be able to get a total of 16 in here at least. 30 seconds, let's go for it. Switch. That would be eight for me. Mm. Oh, at the end of the workout, they're tough. Oh. All right. If you are done with yours, go ahead and stand it up. We're gonna be in cool down. I'm gonna show you your bonus real quick before we get in the full cool down. Cool down. Those who wanna get the extra something on this, it's everybody's favorite, it's the Julian. A Julian is wonderful. You can do a half Julian or a whole Julian. What is a Julian? A Julian is one push up, roll over, one shoulder press, no weights. Then you roll back over, do two push ups. Then you roll back over and do two of these. You can do that all the way up to 10 and stop, or you can go backwards from there to get the full 100. If you do the half, you're really gonna get about 55 or 60, but it's okay. So we'll do a few with you. Then we'll let you keep going, and you can pause it if you're gonna keep going, and then we'll go right to the cool down. All right, so it looks like this. Here we go. One, go to your seat, lift your feet up for abs, that's one. Looks pretty easy, one, two. One, two. One, two, three, you get the idea, right? One, two, three. Now why do we call this beautiful thing the Julian? Because an old student of mine in Southern Adventist University the last few years, finishing up there as a gym master. And he brought this back to us his freshman year as a gym master. 
and we started implementing it in our workout. It is a killer. Get through the whole thing, you will feel it. Before long, your push-ups will get more and more strong. But hey guys, let's get on into our cool down for those that are not doing the bonus. Let's go to a cool down. We can finish our other one later. Let's go into your helicopters. You wanna bring your heart rate down. This one isn't near as intense of a workout as say, the upper body one we did. Even the cardio one, which has no breaks for like 15 minutes straight. This one has a little bit of a breather and a big transition time. So, well, short transition time, just lots of transitions. All right, here we go. We're gonna reach up, plug it into the ceiling. Inhale, exhale down. Come on down and hang out here. We're just gonna reverse this happy elephant by going back and forth. Remember, you don't have to stretch much here. You're just cooling down, taking care of your muscles. Don't wanna overstretch. You're already getting warm. So now we're gonna happy elephant back and forth. Just bringing that heart rate down. Come on up. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in. Exhale. Okay, find your pulse. We'll start counting here in just a minute. And go. Time. Mine was at 19, I multiplied that by six. I'm a little bit short, we did have some cool time in there. It may have cooled me down a little bit. I could have gone a little more intense, but I was running my mouth through the workout. But you know where you're supposed to be, multiply your number by six. Teens, make sure between 150 and 175, preferably closer into the 70s. Um, you guys my age, you should be 140s, 150s. If you're younger than, than me or older than me, some of you guys that are working out, good on you. You should be a little bit lower. So we wanna make sure we don't overstress your heart. But anyways, that is our workout today. We're going to bring it in to give you one little bit of encouragement. Things are looking good here at the school. We're hoping to see you back soon. And don't forget, seniors, hashtag graduation. We are out.